Paladin Romati is gonna have a heart attack, but she realized there's a potential super, super mutant. Not to mention Night Shin. Night Shin has barely been in this DLC, huh? Just at the beginning, and then he blew himself up. Admittingly, in a very heroic attempt to save someone else, which was successful on... Even though he was, uh, the one that took one for the team. We saw him, uh, for a short while in the last I mission, but... Compliant with your questioning. Threats are not required. With everything you've done, you're lucky. I'm only threatening you right now. Please, this argument is getting us nowhere. Uh, to Brotherhood leadership? Well, right now, since we're siding with Shin, we should talk to Night hey, Shin. You're back. Maybe you can help me talk some sense into Romani here. We've been going over what happened at Vault 96 and interrogating our prisoner. This smug monster is practically bragging about torture and unleashing horrors on the world. And Romani is treating him with kid gloves. I am not bragging. What I have done was necessary. I take no pride in those terrible acts. I will have to live with the shame of them forever. That weight does not, however, diminish that the ends were worth the means. You will learn that soon enough. My colleagues will see that our creation, a vast improvement on the FEV, is distributed shortly. Do you see the arrogance, the self-justification? We should end him and be done with it. <sighs> There's something to be said about due process. Jury wouldn't find this man guilty. Doesn't matter. You saw what he did with your own eyes. Preventing Dr. Blackburn's associates from taking this horror any further must be our priority. And we may need the doctor to convince them. So where are these associates? I really hate that the camera went all weird like this. My colleagues have a laboratory hidden beneath <laughs> the headquarters of my former employer, West Tech. We intend to correct the FEV's mistakes at their birthplace. Poetically appropriate, would you not agree? Kind of makes sense. What will they do with the virus? My colleagues have a facility better suited to final testing and mass production of the virus. As we speak, they are preparing for its release into the air and water of Appalachia. Once dispersed, it will enter the precipitation cycle in groundwater. And then it cannot be stopped. No! It could spread for hundreds, maybe thousands of miles. Why would you help us stop them? That is your goal, not mine. But I am not a soldier, and would not withstand strenuous interrogation. Well, no minor delay on my part will change what is to come. My colleagues are already preparing. Perhaps my cooperation will allow us to make a case for the good we are about to do, and to convince you of our cause. Impossible. We could never support something so abominable. Sounds like well, uh, West Tech is where we need to go. Yes. If the doctor's associates are preparing to distribute the virus, we have to put our emotions aside here and get to them before they can. Agreed. Blackburn's punishment, whatever its form, can wait until Appalachia is safe. Head to West Tech. Find and secure the entrance to this lab, and we'll follow behind. I don't like this, Romani. We should be done with him here and now and level this laboratory. This is just like what Elder Maxim faced at Mariposa. Or have you forgotten? Elder Maxim That's cool. regret acting rashly there. Or have you forgotten? If they've already begun producing the virus, blowing up the place could just help spread it. We'll need to be a bit more delicate than that. Very well. If Blackburn is coming with us, I will be watching him. Perhaps he can provide leverage against his fellow lunatics. If I can prevent further loss of life, I will. Then it's decided. Initiate, head for West Tech. We've no time to lose. See you there. I don't like that he's coming with us. <clears throat> can I just shoot him? I don't know. Let's go ahead and heal our rads. I have too much medical supplies. West Tech. 
Let's go ahead and take care of business. This should definitely be interesting, by the way. Definitely be interesting. I'm almost certain there's like some sort of a super, super mutant. Since he perfected the FEV virus. Or the FEV. Saying virus after FEV is kind of redundant. Seeing as the name is called Forced Evolutionary Virus. Alright, hold up. Let's get closer. Oh, we're gonna have a hard time here. Okay, there we go. Luckily... Oh, there we go. What is going on? My stealth sucks. Come on. Okay, he's dead. Where's the guy that with the with the mini nuke? All right, he's dead. Oh no! Well, I think we would still respawn here, so we're good. I hope we're good. And. Most of them would already be dead. We're gonna have a hard time. Mainly because our armor <laughs> is still broken. And uh, my stealth kind of sucks. You know what I should do? Uh, this. Well, let's open these up. Hopefully we get some good stuff here. We didn't. So let's... Wait, hold on. Let's pick a perk. What do we need? Uh, let's go to... Cr uh. We should do critical savvy. For one. Or better criticals. Yeah, we should do better criticals. That's exactly what we're doing. More damage. Let's go and grab better criticals and actually put it on our thing. <coughs> uh, not really sure why I have Demolition Expert here. Tenderizer would be a good thing. So. Let's go to Charisma. Find Tenderizer somewhere. Right there. Two cards. Absolutely bring that up. Make them a little bit more soft. Okay, well that makes us a little bit more effective in combat. I'm not sure why that's ticking. Oh! Oh! Whoa, that was close! That was so close! Oh my god, that was terrifying actually. No! Yikes, that was close too. Not as close as that mini nuke situation though. Oh no. Okay, we should be good here for a second. Die! Get out of here you super mutant filth! This is for the brotherhood! Uh oh. 
One down. Couple more to go, it seems. Perfect. Yikes. I'm puckering. Man, these guys are really tanky. That didn't kill him, really? <coughs> that definitely did. So a bunch of dead bodies everywhere. Not gonna get me, turret. Got some floating torsos, though. I'm not gonna do a full sweep of the place. Normally, I like to go around the corner and kill the ones in the front, but... Nah. We're gonna focus on the objective, since there's lives at stake here. Also, a potential super, super mutant. <coughs> Excuse me? Looks like it's literally just right on the corner. Let me in. Okay, that was weird. I'm nervous. Because there's a good chance we're going to die here multiple times. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Go away. Ah. Uh. This whole door shutting thing is annoying. Because then I have to... Whoa. Whoops. Die! Okay, that time right there, it actually kind of saved my life. I would have been dead. I was about to say, I think they just launched a... A grenade. Oh, no, I reloaded. Woo. That was close. It's a good thing I have plenty of, uh... Stim packs. He's done, though. T-45? Haha. -ha. Oh, snap. They've got the flake on me. I'm doing pretty decent, all things considering. Well, especially the fact that my build isn't complete yet. Okay. Where is his... This wasn't here before, was it? I don't think it was. Could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments if uh, if that this was here before. I don't think it was, though. If it was, I didn't know about it. Pretty intense, though, I'll say that. I didn't mean to shoot. Luckily, there was nobody here to make a, a fuss about it. Okay, these guys are going to be extremely easy compared to the super mutants upstairs. Sure, I'll take that. I'm not fighting like a traditional brotherhood, but... You did! Woo! Sayonara, sucker! Whoa, there's a super mutant being experimented on over here. Yeah, this definitely wasn't in the game before. I know that for sure. I would have known about this place. There's still more people. It's gotta be around this way. Inaccessible. Oh! There goes the, the three. 
Is this the last mission? It seems like this is the last mission. The catalyst? Dude, Romani has a Gatlin laser. That's awesome. Regroup with the Brotherhood? Are we secure, Initiate? Uh, there was some more Hellcat mercenaries guarding the place. They weren't interested in talking. The Hellcats were likely here to protect Blackburn's associates from the super mutants above. You don't say. Did we expect any further resistance? I am not aware of the details of the defensive measures my colleagues may have taken. I would not, however, expect them to tolerate trespassers. We should keep moving. <clears throat> As you wish. I am your prisoner, after all. I have little choice in the matter. He's too smart for his own good, isn't he? Anything uh, that you can tell us about the associates that might help us? Hmm. Dr. Farhar is nominally the head of their group, Headstrong, an old university colleague. Dr. Jane was a junior scientist at West Tech, brilliant but easily led. He shared my disgust at the Huntersville mistake. Nellie Wright, on the other hand, is Dr. Farhar's pet project, an adoptee of sorts. Very talented, despite her lack of formal schooling. Okay. Uh, how do we know you're not leading us into a trap? A trap I conceived, prepared, and executed entirely while in your custody? You give me too much credit. I still don't trust you, Blackburn. You're up to something. Paranoia ill suits you. I have complied with your every demand. And that is precisely what is so concerning. Agreed. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get out of here. Certainly. Let's move out. Eyes open. <clears throat> well, he's gonna open the door? He already did. I'd rather still sneak, even though they're not. That's them. That's them. Edgar, who are these people? What happened to the guards? The guards are dead, Dr. Farha. This is the Brotherhood of Steel. I have been their guest since they discovered our project. Regrettably, they object to what we are doing. We will not be intimidated. This facility is secure. You can't get to us. We will finish our work. You can't possibly release the FEV on the population again. You know what happened last time. This isn't the Huntersville strain. Dr. Blackburn has purified the virus of its considerable defects. We've made something wonderful out of something horrible. We're helping people this time. They've lost their way. But you haven't tested it, so how do you know? We've run the simulations. It's not the same thing. All three of us triple checked the models and compared to prior experimental data. We're confident <coughs> in the formulation. You know what they say? Human testing is the best testing. A large scale release will provide a representative sample. Science needs vision, like Dr. Blackburn's, like ours. Let's not let testing hold us back. Who in the world says human testing is the best testing? Have you had any success? All I've seen were monstrous, uh, uh, monstrosities and corpses. Well, no, not as such, but... Of course we have. Experimentation has identified the key flaws in the original strain. Iterative testing has pinpointed the defective genetic sequences and we've corrected them in each case. Admit it. It's untested and you've had no successful trials. You know you can't release this. Huh. Well, <coughs> sure. It might seem hasty, but... There's no but. Don't be such a pushover, Jamie. No, wait. I've also had my doubts. Perhaps we should discuss this after all. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I see your troubles. You know what you're doing isn't right. Let's talk through this. We can come to an agreement. I want to avoid violence. But that's always on the table. 
as long as you hold Dr. Blackburn hostage. <laughs> let him go. Please, let him go or we will cut off this negotiation and proceed with our plans. I am afraid you will have to give in on this one. If you truly want to stop our distribution process, I advise you to listen to the doctor's entreaties. Why would I listen to you? What are you talking about? Allow me to explain. My colleagues could not stop production if they tried. It requires a code. I am the only one who knows the code. I set this plan in motion. And <sighs> I am the only one who can stop it. Oh, they're true, Edgar. You will have to forgive Dr. Farhan. She did not know. I added this functionality to our distribution program. As insurance, you might say. Boy, that's handy, huh? So, there you have it. I am willing to help you in exchange for sparing my colleagues' lives. But you will have to let me in there with them. Why help now? You said any price was worth your goal. Perhaps in the end, I am more willing to sacrifice the lives of strangers than friends and colleagues. I do not wish them to be harmed. <clears throat> My hypocrisy in this is only human. <sighs> <laughs> Shit is not happy. You can't expect us to trust you. Trust me or trust me not. The truth remains the truth. There's no way I'm letting you waltz in there alone. Then you are free to enjoy the view as my colleagues distribute our creation among the populace. I don't like it either. But what other option do we have? We clearly have no option. The outcome will be just as catastrophic. Dr. Farhar, please permit me inside as a sign of good faith from the Brotherhood. I am certain we can negotiate a peaceful resolution and perhaps preserve our work at the same time. All right. I'm registering you for the security grid. Just you. With your leave. Don't make this worse. This is a mistake. I I'm on I'm on shins on this one. Definitely with shins. How oh this is such a disaster. Now that that is over with. Nelly, prep the test chamber. They want proof of our success. I will give it to them myself. Edgar, wait! What does that mean? This... The Brotherhood answer. You're betraying us? Big mistake. I apologize for the deceit, <clears throat> but I cannot risk you undoing all we have accomplished. I knew it! Soon you will understand that I was right. Edgar... Please, let's talk about this. You've signed your death warrant, Blackburn. I will test the sample on myself and be proof of our achievement. Anything you do to me after does not matter. He's going to infect himself. I'm going in. Ready the tank. We should have executed him when we had the chance. Now is not the time. We have to find a way in quickly. There's no time to waste. Oh my god, dude. Inaccessible. Definitely can't go through there. Haha. -ha. FEV flow ready, Doctor. Oh no. Initiate procedure. Code reception. Witness the experiment? Initiating. Oh, he's inside. Okay, it is a super super mutant. Oh my god. Run! Get away from me! Oh my god, dude. We're so gonna die. Get away from- Oh my god! I did not stand a chance there. He hits hard. 
Any minute now. Let me in there. What's up, buddy? What is he doing? Oh, those things explode. I could use those to my advantage. If I don't die in the process. Come here. Let's get him to go around. <clears throat> Death to the Brotherhood, you say? What is he doing? This literally does almost no damage, but blowing him up seems to do a lot. Come this way. Come here. I'm infected. Run away. Come here. Come here. Got him. You are far from close, bro. That wasn't that difficult. Scary. But not very hard. The need for our brotherhood. The need for our justice. I don't like the way he said that, but. Edgar, he. I should have known. I did know. We weren't ready. I owe you an apology. Our work was a failure. Any good it might have done was a mirage. I, I knew it in my heart, but didn't listen. As a token of goodwill, I have used Edgar's code to stop production. We will not distribute the virus. I will make sure of that. Good. But I will not simply <coughs> let you in. There may be little I can do to stop you, but I will defend my colleagues in what little way I can. <laughs> so really quick in the top right over here you can't see it but it's uh imminent shutdown we still have 28 more minutes i think we should be able to finish this uh before then we'll find another way in then do what you will i wouldn't put it past them to have rigged this exit with traps there must be a password we shouldn't waste time searching if you know how to brute force a terminal now would be the time you're still here uh, can't do either of those. Let's hack our way in then. Okay, let's try again. I don't like doing this because I'm very terrible at it. So I just kind of guess until I get the right answer. Just like that. Do you really think they've stopped production? This whole sob story sounds like a trap. You can it... verify that once the area is secure and send prescribed Valdez to double check. Until Agreed. Then, Come here, lady. You've arrived. <clears throat> Please, hear me out. We are scientists. Our work is all we have to give to this broken world. We had truly hope to give humanity a better way to fight back. Against the radiation, the mutants, the decay of civilization, we failed. But this doesn't have to be the end. There is so much good that we can still do, please. Spare us your wrath. Why does it sound like you're giving up? We weren't that far off, just a tweak here or there. Uh, if I may interrupt, I agree with everything Dr. Farha has to say. Despite how it looks, we are not evil people. We wish only to better humankind. Knowing that, what are your intentions with us? Kidnapping, human experimentation, creation of a giant bloodthirsty mutant? Sounds pretty evil to me. You're, it's the, uh, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. They had good intentions, but they're ruining everything. So they're pretty bad. 
The Brotherhood exists to keep humanity safe. And your work endangered everyone in Appalachia. If that failed virus had gotten out, countless people could have died. We can't allow you to continue experimenting. Wait, Shin. It's clear that we can't just let them go. But their knowledge could be valuable to the Brotherhood and the people of Appalachia. Blackburn was the ringleader, but he's gone. We know nothing about the others. And of all people, you and I shouldn't fault anyone for trying to make a difference. I can. And I will. Is this still about back then? You can't forgive yourself for your own mistakes, so you refuse to forgive others too. When will you put that behind you? This has nothing to do with that. There will be no more experiments. And they're too dangerous to keep prisoner. Wait, you're really going to kill us? Hold on. We're not killing anybody. We will bring them back to Fort Atlas and have Scribe Valdez monitor their work. Have you lost your mind? Think about it. This is exactly why the Brotherhood exists. To safeguard technology. I hate to admit it, but the Elders are right on this. We can't let them go, but we can't destroy what knowledge they have either. A wise compromise. I'm willing to cooperate. You, the angry one. <laughs> Consider the fact that universities are no longer operating. In a generation or two, there will be few, if any, people left in the world with a formal education. How many dozens have you killed? Do you really think your life is worth more than theirs because of your education? We don't need your knowledge if you're deranged enough to resort to human experimentation. Uh, please! Stop it. Uh, let us stop for a moment and talk to each other. There's still much that we haven't told you about our work. And we uh, know little about your brotherhood. Perhaps we can find out more where our perspectives overlap. Yes. Maybe some discussion will cool Shin's head. I have no desire for this to come to blows. Very well. You haven't said anything yet? I'm listening. Surely you have an opinion on this matter. I hate to say this. Okay, so on my main character, I'm probably gonna let them live. But since we're doing, we're kind of siding with Shin, and I do see his logic behind this, dude. There, it's no, you, you, no. Their crimes against humanity should not be forgiven so easily. I can <clears throat> seek to pardon them. They'll be under constant supervision. You could even call it rehabilitation. That's not going to work. Think of the resources it will take to watch them around the clock. We're spread too thin to watch them constantly. What happens if they slip out and create another virus? Or sneak in some horrible experiments under our watch? It's too risky. That'll be a bad. Supervision isn't necessary. We're scholars, not fighters. We couldn't escape if we wanted to. In any case, there's still much to discuss. Let's pause and open the floor for conversation, shall we? Make it quick, Initiate. Shouldn't take long to see through their lies. I don't think they're lying. I don't think they're bad people, per se. <clears throat> All right, let me talk to them. I urge you to reconsider. This was never meant to come to violence. This is actually a hard decision. Do you consider kidnapping and human exper uh, experimentation to be violence? Because I do. I never intended to hurt anyone. Dr. Blackburn was in charge of procurement. He told us they were volunteers. It was only later that... But by then... Please understand, we were so close. It could have ended any day. And everything we did was for the greater good. We must carry forward what we learned. Or all that sacrifice will have been for nothing. What do you intend uh, to work on if we let you live? <clears throat> Dr. Farha may disagree, but I'd like to finish the FEV formula. We can implement new safety measures. Animal experiments of thorough uh, waste disposal. We were so close to improving the human race as we know it. The world has changed, my friend. 
How are we to survive if we don't change with it? You're talking about change that's not good. The bad type of change. Can you tell me more about uh, about your colleagues? They are good people. Dr. Farah is quite strict, but it's because she cares. About Nelly, particularly. The girl is unorthodox, but you can't fault her for it. We're all born differently into this world. And about Dr. Blackburn. <clears throat> well, the world has lost a visionary intellect. It's a shame. A tragedy. Okay, that's all. Please don't let this work go to waste. Dr. Farha. What questions Farha. do you have for Far me? Far Farha. Or has your party <clears throat> made a decision? My decision, I think, is already made, to be honest. Uh, what do you plan to work on if we let you live? We could focus the idea of human evolution into a more targeted formula. Say, a formula to increase muscle bulk or, or to repel radiation. In fact, I hear serums of that sort may already be circulating among the survivors of the region. I'd like to study what they have created and improve upon it. Yeah, I, I kind of had my hand on that. What are your thoughts on the FEV experiment? It went too far. And quite frankly, I regret bringing the others onto this project. By the time I figured out that Dr. Blackburn was experimenting on humans, Ellie and Dr. Jane had already become passionate about the project. I was unable to convince them to pull back. I stayed in the hopes that my objections could save even one innocent person from being experimented on. Uh, I'm surprised uh, to hear you weren't on board with the human experimentation. You didn't mention that earlier. There was no one interested in listening. I had to talk your superiors down first. The Brotherhood are a passionate sort, aren't they? Yep. How do you know the other, uh, how do you know the other scientists? Sure. Dr. Blackburn and Dr. Jane were my college associates. They didn't know each other at the time. I met <coughs> Nellie when she broke through my window to search for scraps, <laughs> as wasteland survivors do. She was more interested in my research notes than my leftovers. So I took her in, taught her what I know. I'm responsible for the act. Whoops. I heard from the Brotherhood breaks down your door. They say, add victory, hand over your arms. Is that true? Not in those words, but it's add victorium civilian. <laughs> oh, wow. That's scary. You really made my heart skip a beat. I, uh, I don't have any arms. <laughs> unless you mean human arms, because I've got two of those, but they're mine. You can't have them. Uh, what can you tell me about the FEV project? Wrong. It's all wrong. We ran the models, but the models were wrong. I know exactly where to change the ratios to make this work. I can make it work. We just need one more chance. Don't run from science. Let us do this. Let us change the world. So all those people you turned into super mutants. What about them? What about them? Those people had no choice in the matter. You kidnapped them. To improve the human race. If I was kidnapped for our experiments, I wouldn't mind. Most kidnappers do much worse. You're a sociopath. Oh, are you a licensed medical professional? Even if you are, it's pretty rude to make sudden, unwarranted diagnoses of people you just met. I think I know enough, to be honest. Don't you feel bad? Those were innocent people. Now they're mutated beasts. Is that any worse than being human? As Dr. Jane says, all life is sacred. You'd probably gun them down regardless, right? Okay. She's a sociopath. What about your colleagues? Janie and Farah? <clears throat> well, I don't think anybody liked me before Farah, so I'm glad we're together. Janie worries too much. She's always asking, are we doing the right thing? Is this gonna work? You don't know until you try. Edgar was the most fun of all. Too bad he miscalculated. You're not really gonna kill us, are you? I'm awfully young to die. You can put a lot of experiments into 60 more years. 
What questions do you have for me? Or has your part? Wait, hold on. I got still got to talk to these guys. Those who commit crimes in 15 minutes. Must be. It wouldn't be right to let them run free. Not to the people they killed, and not to the people they could kill in the future. That's a great the point. Steel must protect the future of Appalachia, and of the world. You really wouldn't accept any option besides execution? I don't see what other <clears throat> option there is. As I stated before, they're too dangerous to hold prisoner. So we either ignore the danger or eradicate it. <sighs> don't you think you're being a little too dogmatic? Whether I'm being dogmatic or not is irrelevant. My goal is to find a solution to a threat. And I don't see you offering any other suggestions. Uh, what if you can't get, uh... Earlier, Paladin Romandi, uh, mentioned a mistake you made. What was that about? That is none of your concern. How long do you intend to sweep it under the rug like nothing happened? You're torturing yourself, Shin, and they deserve to know. Maybe so. But this is neither the time nor the place for this discussion. Shin... You owe it to yourself to admit that you made a mistake. Stop crumbling under the guilt and just accept it. I... For those I failed then, and those I failed since. For them, I have to do better. The raiders on the expedition route. Romani decided we would stay and fight them. But giving the order to distribute the weapons to the settlers there, it was my idea. I wanted to give them a chance. But I got them killed instead. Uh. So you're afraid to make another mistake? Sorry, but you have to get over this, man. There's nothing to get over. I acknowledge that <clears throat> I've made poor decisions then and now. That's why I'm making a better decision today. You have to see that keeping these criminals alive would be misguided and reckless. I kind of do, to be honest. Don't you think it's, uh, compassionate? Uh, the compassionate thing that you could have done? The outcome is more important than the intent. What I learned from that mistake was not to let my feelings blind me. Some things are a lost cause. Some chances are too dangerous to take. As much as we may want to believe otherwise. I'm not sure I understand, though. What weapons are you talking about? The rocket launchers. The ones we found oh. at the crater and foundation. We had secured those weapons from a military facility with the intent of keeping them safe. Brotherhood hands only. But there was a town being attacked by raiders. I thought that equipping the townspeople would give them a better chance. It didn't work. The town was taken over, and the weapons fell into raider hands. And then they killed them. My fault that happened. I vowed to never make a mistake like that again. Despite that vow, Initiate Norland still died on my watch. Shit happens, dude. You're in the military. I can't give those scientists another chance to harm innocent people. Then I hope you'll also take away the same lesson that I did. I got 11 minutes. What if you can't get Paladin Romani to agree? It hasn't been a matter of if for some time now. Only a matter of when. I'm fully prepared to uphold the integrity of the Brotherhood in whatever way Romani makes necessary. This is bigger than all of us. I hope you understand that. Okay, let's see Romani's side. I won't stand for impulsive violence. Okay. Uh, what are you proposing we do again? <clears throat> the scientists are to return to Fort Atlas with us and work alongside Scribe Valdez on a new project that we all agree upon. These are smart people. They just need to be pointed in the right direction. They could still do a lot for humanity. Don't you think the scientists' methods were unforgivable? Their methods were cruel and wrong. 
but no one is beyond forgiveness. What matters is what they do from today onward. Let's give them a chance to make things right. I mean, you can make mistakes. Forgive them as a human being, but still give them the proper, uh, you know, punishment that they deserve. What if uh, Night Shin won't agree? Then we must stand up for what we believe. We will not allow Shin to create a hateful brotherhood which passes judgment as it sees fit. This is human life we're talking about. Haven't enough died already. That's also true. I think I'm going to side with her on my main character, but I, I, I'm, I think I agree with her a little more. I'm glad to hear you say that. Just a little. Unfortunately, I'm afraid it may be a breaking point for Shin. Once he realizes his authority isn't respected... I think I just clicked the wrong one. I suspect he'll run back to the elders with his tail between his legs. This chapter of the Brotherhood will become what it should be. With or without Shin. I hope you can see what we need to do. Okay. What questions do you have for me? Or has your party made a decision? I made a decision. And what has your organization decided? Nice Shin is right. You should be executed. Please, spare my associates. I take full responsibility for their actions. There's no need. You're coming back to Fort Atlas with us. No. I won't stand for your coercion any longer. Your righteous crusade has gone too far. You are no paladin of the Brotherhood. You haven't been since you destroyed that transmitter. Your reign is over. The initiative's with me. Step aside and let us do what's necessary. I guess the Elder's grip is tighter than I can break after all. I hope we don't kill her. I tried to make you see reason. But after all this, you remain their lap. The Brotherhood can't be changed after all. I will have to start anew elsewhere. I'm not gonna kill her. Are you really going to leave? I have to follow my convictions. I should have known my stilted organization like the Brotherhood would never provide the outreach the world needs. We're not a charity. We're protectors. Sometimes we have to do things that are difficult in the best interest of everyone else. Carry out the sentence. I can't watch this. Farewell. I'm sorry, Romani. Please. We are mere scientists. They're murderers. Make <clears throat> sure they can never kill again. Yeah, uh... I prefer if you did this. You won't always get to be so weak of heart. But fine. I'll do it this time. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> it's done. It's horrible. Then we can discuss everything that's happened. Okay, go to Fort Atlas. I have seven minutes. Seven minutes. Hopefully, that's enough. Really hope it's enough. And this loading screen isn't helping. <clears throat> I think it should be enough. Six minutes and 50 seconds. And we still have this ridiculous little load to go through. There we go. Run! Come on! Six and a half more minutes! It, I, man, it sucks that we're getting hit with this uh, imminent shutdown. Come on. Talk to me. Initiates and others. I have several announcements to make. First and foremost, the mutant threat has been removed at its source. This could not have been done without the exceptional service of everyone present. You may have noticed that Romani is not the one making this announcement. That is because her values and those of the Brotherhood can no longer be reconciled. Romani betrayed the Brotherhood code when she cut us off from the Elders. Today, her misconduct took the form of refusing to punish the criminals behind the mutant threat and the countless deaths it caused. 
she couldn't bear the weight of justice on her shoulders, and thus chose to walk her own path. In exile, Romani put her personal morals above the cornerstone of duty time and time again. Her irresponsibility threatened to shake apart the foundation of order that allows us to be an effective force of action. But however misguided her decisions were, Romani always acted with the intent to help humanity. If we are to retain anything from her leadership, let it be that. The Brotherhood of Steel seeks to forge a lasting future. We must be humanity's strength. Strength to eliminate threats, overt and covert. Strength to keep dangerous technology safe. Strength to make the decisions that no one else wants to make. We are humanity's rock, standing against the harsh enemies of war, disease, and time. We must not falter. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Four and a half more minutes. <clears throat> There is one more thing to address before we disband. Initiates are the future of the Brotherhood. Induction into our order is an honor that should not be taken lightly. Among an initiate's most important responsibilities is to understand and commit themselves wholly to the principles of the order. I've come to understand that one initiate will never be able to meet this goal. They have other important oh, responsibilities in Appalachia. I've decided to grant a title that can account for this caveat while still acknowledging their exceptional contributions to the Brotherhood. Come, stand between Scribe Valdez and I. Me? Yay! For outstanding contributions to the Brotherhood mission as an outside party, I hereby confer on you the permanent title of Knight Errant. Knight a Errant. Brotherhood title with special privileges is an acknowledgement of the highest honor. May it serve as an inspiration for the rest of you. Dismissed. Yay! I got a promotion. I trust the title change didn't come as too much of a surprise. It's an Not really. Place, but you're an exception I had to acknowledge to prevent confusion among the other initiates. Uh... So does this mean I can't get promoted anymore? For the time being, yes. Though it's worth noting that this title doesn't have precedent. So if things were to change in the future, so could our definition. So what's going to happen to the Brotherhood now? A lot of reorganization. As much as I'd like to start scouting for another transmitter today, things around here will fall apart if we don't fill the space Romani left first. How are you feeling about everything? I'm feeling like there's a lot of work to do. Right. You're probably asking about the emotional strain of Romani's. I think this is about as good as things could have turned out. It helps that I had someone to back me up, so thank you. You're welcome. Uh, well, my business at Fort Atlas is done for now. I'm going to be heading out now. Thank you. Good work out there. The Brotherhood won't forget it. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Yay! Just in time. Two minutes exactly left over. Oh, crafting item. Hellcat armor. Cool. Wait, hold on. Oh, I should have seen what I got. Oh, I got a chassis for Hellcat power armor, too. I'll be taking that. I'm still under... Encumber 2, which is good. Let's go ahead go back to camp. Uh, wait, where's my camp? I don't remember where I perked. Oh, it's up here. Got it. Nice. We got like one more minute left. So as soon as we get there, we're going to log out and we'll talk at the main screen. All right, guys. It was perfect timing, actually, because by the time I logged out, there was only 52 seconds left on the clock before the servers were going to shut down for maintenance. So it was perfect timing. Overall, the game DLC was fantastic. I loved it, of course. The approach that they took was great. You could definitely feel the tension between Romani and Shin the entire time, even for the previous DLC, uh, Steel Dawn. It was very, very good in my opinion. The ending specifically was pretty difficult for me because I had a hard time choosing a side. 
And even though uh, I had a hard time, I still kind of wanted there be a, a resolution where they didn't have to die because it wasn't their fault completely. That was Blackburn's problem, uh, fault, obviously. But they weren't innocent either. I don't think they deserved death, but they definitely deserved heavy punishment for their involvement. Death, I don't know. But overall, I think I favored the humanity aspect of Romani more, but the punishment a little more of, uh, you know, Night Shin. And I think that was ultimately the conflict in my head and why it was so difficult for me to choose an ending. Overall, though, fantastic. Anytime a game can do that to me is definitely a plus for me. Very curious to know what you guys chose down in the comment section down below, though. Whether or not you guys chose to side with Night Shin or with Romani. Or if there's another resolution that I did not experience or know was uh, was an option here in this game. Definitely know, let me know down in the comment section. I'm very interested to know. But unfortunately, that's going to have to do it for this DLC. Going forward, obviously, if we make more videos, it's going to be doing side quests or grinding or stuff like that. Unless there's another DLC story DLC to go on in the future, then we'll make that one a series as well. If you enjoyed this video, though, or this series, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed as well, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Deuces.